Thank you, Brian. A former Yellow Springs doctor is indicted on 50 counts for allegations of sexual misconduct. He was arrested Friday after more than a dozen patients came forward. A news conference held just hours ago provided an update on the case, which involved multiple agencies, including the Ohio Attorney General's Office. Two News reporter Riley Phillips is live in Xenia with new information on that investigation. Yes, this 50 count indictment was part of a year long investigation into former Dr. Donald Gronbeck. According to the Greene County prosecutor, all of his victims were women and they were all his patients. In a horrific case of alleged broken patient trust, Greene County prosecutor David Hayes described the allegations against former Dr. Donald Gronbeck. The indictment alleges that over a period of several years, Donald Gronbeck sexually assaulted 15 women all of whom were his patients. The year-long investigation began after patients and employees reported the alleged inappropriate behavior to the Greene County Sheriff's Office. The prosecutor confirmed the alleged victims were seen either at Grombeck's private practice in Yellow Springs, which is now closed, or while he was providing medical services at Antioch College. The Sheriff's Office worked closely with Ohio BCI, the prosecutor's office, and the Attorney General's office throughout the course of this investigation. I don't think I've been in 38 years of law enforcement. I don't think I've seen a case over a course of a year that we had the multi-disciplines involved in the case to make it come to the point we're at with a 50-count indictment. Last week, a grand jury handed down a 50-count indictment. Grombeck faces nine counts of rape, 10 counts of sexual battery, 15 counts of gross sexual imposition, and 16 counts of sexual imposition. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost calls this case one of the worst forms of betrayal. A physician is someone that we all uh, trust to act in our best interest to be professional, uh, to have a, a level of detachment. Uh, to turn medical treatment into a sexual assault is a incredibly uh, graphic and brutal betrayal of trust. And the prosecutor filed a motion for Grombeck to be held without bond. They do consider him a flight risk. A hearing will be held on Thursday to discuss that motion. The prosecutor is also asking anyone who has more information on these allegations or anyone who believes they are a victim to come forward. You can reach out to the Greene County Sheriff's Office or there is a form you can fill out online. I'm Enzina Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.